lots and lots and lots of weeds um, in the grass. Um, this side of the sort of strip especially is quite bad. The other side isn't bad at all, it's not it's not horrendous. There's a few, uh, but not quite as bad as it is over on this side here. So today I'm going to be applying a three-in-one or four-in-one weed feed and uh, it's, a, it's actually a weed feed, feed weed and moss killer to this area um, and actually see how it goes. Um, now a lot of the products that are going to be on the market are all going to be very much the same a three in one or a four in one and it's going to be a feed for the lawn a weed uh, and then some will have the moss killer in there as well now they recommend not to have cut the grass for about three days before uh, and not to cut the grass once you've applied for about four days after we want to apply around about late late spring so around about may um is a good time to to apply which is which is about now i cut the grass about three days ago so it's perfect and we've had a bit of rain so hopefully as i apply this now uh, it can actually sort of do its work and then hopefully we'll have a little bit of rain it might be the case that if we don't have any rain afterwards i might just give it a uh, a bit of a watering probably 24 hours a day after um today and then we'll see what the results are on another video so I've literally just gone for the cheapest product that I could find. Um, so it it really is your own preference of what you go for. And again, you can spread it by hand. We've got the little walk. I'm only doing a small area. Uh, it's only a little small area that I'm just doing here at the minute. So I'm just using the little walk um, machine that I've got there. I have got one that goes on the back of the, the tractor for bigger areas, which we'll do at uh, another time. I've got another big area that we need to get done. So we're going to see how, how this goes. Um, hopefully, I'll give you a few tips on when to apply. Obviously, we want to keep children and animals off this um, for probably a good week. Um, once we've put it on, just because it can cause irritation if they sort of pick that up and... Uh, touch it and eat it etc and again if if you're going to apply it by hand you want to want you want you want to use uh, gloves uh, don't just use use your bare hands sort of a thing so I'm going to fill this up uh, see how far it goes on this little area and uh, then as I say we'll probably do another little video just to update it and see what it looks like after a week they do say about a week and it will start to actually see results so uh, we'll see how true that actually is uh, again on the on the bag it will tell you at what rate to set your machine and um, on this one on our little indicator it sort of says on our little dial to be between four and five on the dial and obviously all the different units that you're going to use are going to be different so just have a check on the bag and check on the actual um, little applier that you're going to use so i've got that about half full and uh, try not to get it everywhere and then let's have a look how that actually applies onto the grass and how far it goes. Uh, hopefully, as I say, uh, it's got soap from the bush. Uh, hopefully uh, we can have a little bit more rain now. Uh, I'm going to try not to walk on the area that I've done just so that I'm not sort of walking it around and just leave it now. Um, again, just to touch on that, it's sort of don't cut the grass about three days before or leave it for about three days if you've cut the grass. Uh, and then once you've applied this then we don't want to cut the grass for about four days afterwards 
if we get some rain perfect if we don't probably after 24 hours another day just give it a bit of a watering in um, and then we'll do another little video that uh, see what the results are um, and sort of see it's quite weedy at the moment um, so it might just be that we do a bit of an update video and sort of after day one two three etc and see how it looks after that thanks for watching uh, i'm mark and uh, if you've not already please like the video and subscribe and any comments if i've done it wrong let me know thanks for watching